Hey, what's up? This is Airbud here. What do you look for in a great pair of pants? You want them to look good, obviously, that's the big thing. Maybe you want some kind of cool features or aesthetic touches that maybe you're not gonna get on other things. But what about beyond that? Maybe you want comfort, maybe you want durability, something really hard wearing, maybe you want water resistance, kind of all weather performance, or maybe you want a little bit of all of those things. And when it comes to combining high performance and looking good, there are two materials that come up more than any other, one being shoulder dry skin, the other being Stotts Etterproof. But which should you go for? We're gonna be comparing three different pairs of pants to help answer this question. So we have the Enfant Levy Amez 2 in shoulder dry skin. Now, if you guys have watched this channel a while, you'll know that I'm a big fan of those. And we have the Enfant Levy Orion in Stotts Etterproof in a new color called Earth, which is this kind of slightly faded green sort of color. And we also, for a surprise third option, have a pair of Enfant Levy Orion pants in their technical twill. Enfant Levy were kind enough to send me the two pairs of Orions that you saw there to assist with this video, to compare some of these different materials. So thank you very much to them for that. And they are a brand that make pretty extensive use of dry skin, of Stotts Etterproof, and some other stuff as well, like this technical twill that they wanted to send me to. And I wanted to see for myself too, to be honest, the materials that I prefer and in what circumstances I would pick one over the other. The technical twill is one that Enfant Levy kind of threw into the mix here. It's the cheapest material option that they offer so it's a chance to get the same designs for a little bit less money and it's kind of got quite different characteristics in a lot of ways to the other materials so uh, I think it makes quite an interesting and a nice contrast as well and of course I'll be saying one or two things about the Orion pants as well so it really is a feature-packed video so let's get going point number one comfort the first thing I want to talk about is comfort because I do feel like it's really important a great pair of pants can only get you so far and only perform so well if you don't actually want to wear them because they're not very comfortable it's no secret that I really like dry skin and the comfort level it provides is a big part of that. The material itself is pretty soft, it's pretty pliable, but most importantly it has four-way stretch characteristics. What this means exactly is both the weft and the warp, or the horizontal and vertical fibers that make up a piece of clothing, both of those have the ability to stretch independently. Things like elasticated denim will often be two-way stretch, so the weft will have that stretch characteristic, but the warp which runs vertically will give the material its structure. The real benefit is this material does a great job of moving with the wearer and these feel extremely pleasant, especially on a relatively snug fitting pant like the Hermes 2. I'm as happy walking around all day in these as I am lounging around on the sofa, and that's despite them looking like an outdoor performance pant, and performing like it as well, but of course we'll get to that later. If outdoor pant is what appeals though, then Stotts Etterproof might be the fabric of greatest interest to you, because it certainly feels like it's designed much more for uh, exclusively outdoor and for much harder wear than the other materials here. That's not to say this material is uncomfortable, Stotts Etterproof is a cotton-derived material, so it has nothing of that cloying, plasticky feel that you might associate with an exclusively outdoor pan. But nonetheless, because of those long fibres that make up Stotts Etterproof, I was surprised at how rigid these were out of the box. They have kind of softened up a little bit with wear, but nonetheless, these are certainly a much more structured pan than the other two that I've got here. Note also this material doesn't have any stretch whatsoever, so you're relying more on things like the knee articulation, on the extra space in the knee bags that Enfant Levy have left in the Orient to provide that ease of movement rather than the stretchiness inherent of the material itself. Based on the comfort, I would be most likely to want to wear these doing something as opposed to living the working from home life. In terms of the feeling as well, these have a kind of smooth feel against the skin, but certainly not a soft feeling as a dry skin, and not as soft also as technical twill, which in that respect is certainly the winner of the three. Over the last five or six weeks that I've had these, I have been primarily indoors, and I feel like the technical twill has proved really, really comfortable in this situation. It feels more like a pair of tracksuit bottoms than any of the other pants here. I actually didn't expect these to be as comfortable as they are. While they don't quite have the same level of stretch that dry skin does, they have a little bit of give to them, and the material is extremely supple as well, so they move with the wearer very, very easily. I just don't really feel like I'm wearing cargoes with this material. Another key difference between the two, which kind of plays into comfort, I suppose, is the noise levels generated by them. So I've done a little bit of a test. We'll load up the science and you can have a little look for yourself as to exactly how these sound and come out. I do want to build up as complete a picture of these different materials as possible. So here we go. you <laughs> 
You could probably guess Stotts would come out the loudest. They are the most structured of the three pants. But I'm not going to go and detract arbitrary points because one's louder than the other or whatever. And yeah, Stotts does have the most noticeable swishy sound of the three. But now let's talk about how these different materials actually perform. Number two, performance. Both the dry skin and Stotts claim a similar levels of performance and to do similar things, but in different ways. First of those is water resistance. Now I'm going to show this being tested, but take it with a pinch of salt because it's pretty hard to quantify or actually measure water resistance by pouring water on things. It just doesn't really work very well, but the visuals should at least give you some idea. All three of these materials are DWR treated, so that gives the material some ability to repel water and liquid spills. But beyond that, dry skin and stots are resistant at the actual material level. Dry skin does this via the nylon fabric that the material is made of. Those fibers have water resistant capability, so in theory, that will prevent these pants starting to get wet more than the stots ones will. Stots being cotton based, once you get through that DWR, is designed to wet out. What that will do is it'll take in a certain amount of water, those fibers will swell, and then that will prevent further water ingress. So probably what you'll find is that you will noticeably feel that these are wet sooner with the Stotts pair. For long periods in rain, they will reach that level of wetness and then that's kind of it. Whereas dry skin, my understanding at least, is very long periods in rain, you will eventually get to the point where this material will start properly saturating. For long-term ownership, the type of water resistance used by Stotts will also hold up better. It's just inherent of its construction. Whereas the nylon fabric in the dry skin, that can lose its effectiveness over time. The technical twill is a cotton nylon blend. So in theory should bring an element of both these types of water resistance to the table alongside the same DWR as the other two. I haven't had the ability to wear these in real conditions yet, but it seems to me from this test that water soaked into this material more than either of the other two. On Von Leve do list this as four out of five for water resistance, the same rating as Stotts or dry skin, but based on this, I'd be inclined to put it below those two. That said, the DWR alone will give you an element of protection and they'll certainly do better than cheap cotton hashtag techwear cargoes, I'd just be more willing to rely on the others. All three of them though have no issue with breathability as far as I'm concerned. I felt very comfortable in a fair range of temperatures wearing these so far. Even when it's quite warm out, I never felt like my legs were cooking from the inside. Although in direct sunlight, in theory, shoulder dry skin will do a little better because shoulder includes their cold black technology in them, which basically helps keep it cool in direct sunlight. I also didn't really feel like any one of these was much warmer or cooler than the other. I think they're all pretty appropriate for general general purpose wear. If it gets much colder, um, the dry skin comes in a merino backed version, which will definitely help keep you a bit warmer. You could argue that because Stotts is the densest woven, that will give you the best wind protection and thus more suitable in colder conditions, but that is a relatively small difference. There's a limit to how much I can talk about ruggedness and durability. As I say, I have not exactly been in the most challenging conditions in the last five or six weeks, but based on my experience with dry skin and based on kind of how these feel to me in hand, in terms of their durability and their abrasion resistance, and kind of based on the feedback of other people as well, the way that I would tier these is Stotts being at the top for the kind of most durable, um, I would put the technical twill second, I think, and then the dry skin just underneath that. But all of these, I think, feel uh, like a pretty solid and well-constructed material. I wouldn't have any issues of durability with any of these. And all these materials do have a bit of a weight to them as well. It doesn't feel like they're kind of flimsy or they're gonna fly away in the wind or whatever. Number three, aesthetics. And finally, we come to looks. Of course, the model of pants that you go for is gonna make a big difference here, but the material as well does play into things. Stotts being the most structured material makes these pants fold in a very obvious, quite angular way, almost reminiscent of raw denim. It also makes uh, things like the knee bags the most prominent because it does make them stick out more than with the other pants. However, these do also stack nicely on the shoe with some pleasing even folds there. Visually, this is the toughest looking material, so I think will look best with a fully layered up look with a nice proper piece of outerwear on there. 
Technical twill is exactly the opposite. With significantly less structure, it drapes downwards rather than poking outwards, and it has a much less structured appearance, and certainly suits a casual and a relaxed look best. Whether you actually like the idea of having the zips undone, of course, is up to you, because it is a little bit unconventional. Although I would say, um, this is a good point to talk about the Orion, I suppose, um, the bottom part of these, I think the taper is quite harsh, so having the zips undone, I feel makes the pants look a little bit more balanced. You get a little bit of a kind of slim, straight silhouette rather than a sudden taper towards the bottom. And in fact, it makes me think I'd like to see Enfant Levy come out with a slightly more relaxed fitting or straight looking pant because thinking about it, pretty much all of their pant options do have that fairly narrow leg opening. But in general, I do like the shape. They remind me of the 2016 Nike Lab ACG cargo pants, which people still go mad over to this day. That's partly the overall silhouette of them and partly as well those nice big angular cargo pockets. Although of course, these are far more readily available and come in the different material and color choices too. Anyway, in this area looks wise dry skin kind of feels like a middle ground between these other two materials. It does have some structure to it, but will still drape in a more kind of a wavy way to the more angular starts. Of course, there's not that much room to do that in the Hermes 2 because they are pretty slim, but I've certainly noticed that in other dry skin pants like the Garuda Optesis and like the Acronym P30s. In terms of how these will look over time and how these will age, I don't have enough personal experience yet with the Stots and the Technical Twill pairs, but um, I can say with dry skin, you do get some fading over time in those high traffic areas. It's probably more noticeable on camera than it is in real life, but nonetheless, that does happen. My understanding of Stots is that it has a more natural looking fade characteristic, which people do value. So over a long period of time, these will probably end up looking pretty good. And of course, after that sort of break in period, they'll end up being more comfortable as well. So I think there's a lot of things there that make the Stotts material more suited to long-term wear and ownership. I can't say too much about the technical twill, but I did notice very quickly that this picks up dust and lint really, really quickly. In a similar way, in fact, to the Valence Voronoi pants. So uh, if you want to wear these, be prepared to get a lint roller. It's also worth talking about color choices. To my knowledge, Enfant Levé only offer technical twill and dry skin in black. Although it is actually possible to get dry skin in different colors. So the Garuda Optesis I have in blue. I found a pair of pants made by Thunderbolt, which are this kind of greenish color, but it's not really that common. Stotts, on the other hand, has a wider color choice. As you can see from my pair here, I've got these ones in earth. Black is, of course, very common too. And in fact, I've seen somewhere, I'll pull it up if I can find it again, a whole swatch of colors that Enfant Levé can get their hands on. If you've already got a nice pair of black cargos, then you could consider something like earth as a nice alternative. Um, still goes well with things that are black, I think, but just gives you a little bit of contrast, a little bit of extra versatility in that wardrobe. So that's a fairly complete overview of my experiences with these three different materials. You probably have some idea of what one sounds best for you. Um, I certainly think all of these have their merits and I will continue to wear all of these three different materials. It's not like one is objectively better than the other, so one's going in the bin. So here's what I think is best for what. Dry skin I think is the one for all around wear. If I had to have only one pair of cargos and live in them 24 seven, then this is still the material that I would go for. Stotts is for the hard wearing, heavy duty, outdoor use. When you know you're going to be wearing these a lot, you know you're going to be beating them to death. They're the most likely to stand up to bad conditions and to look cool doing it, and they also have that noticeably heavy duty look to them. Technical twill I think is best for comfort and for casual aesthetics, maybe for mixing with a more streetwear ready style rather than a super prepared layered up techwear look. It's also a good way of getting the shapes that Enfant Levé offer at a slightly lower price to the other materials. These are my choice for chilling at home all day, and I have to say I like this material more than I thought I would based purely on the fact that they are just so comfy. To weigh in a bit more quickly about the Orion before rounding this video off, there's a few things that I do quite like about them. Those nice big cargo pockets I think are super useful. They've got that 3D construction to them as well, so they've got pretty big capacity and they're nice and easy to reach as well. Behind those are two phone pockets. Those fit XL sized phones pretty perfectly. It also means that they're really, really easy to reach when you're sitting down. The slightly wider shape compared to the Hermes 2 as well suits chunkier shoes a bit better and slightly bigger jackets a bit better too, even though it might not look as kind of tech ninjury or as futuristic, I think it does give it some good all-round kind of all-purpose wear. Although I mentioned before the taper with 
with the zips done up is quite harsh, you can undo these and then it makes for a relatively balanced and slightly more relaxed looking pant and probably something that will do you pretty well for a whole variety of different situations. If you want to know more about the Orion though, just ask anything in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to stuff and I'll probably talk about them at some point in future as well. But that's been pretty much everything about these three different materials, Stotts, dry skin, technical twill. Of the three, what one do you think is going to be the best for you? Is there one that really sticks out or do you think maybe you want to have them all in your pants portfolio? Or if you've worn some of these materials already, then definitely put your experiences in the comment because I want to make this as valuable a resource as possible. So it would be really good to have some more people kind of weigh in on, uh, on how they feel about this stuff. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like because it's super appreciated. And as always, we will be back next week with another one. Shout out to Moa87, first alien, absolute classic, birth of an era. So yeah, I, I feel like I have to agree with that. And shout out to AFR, I think being able to wear a spacesuit is basically the goal. So uh, that's what we're all working towards. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you want to catch some more, there's going to be links going up at the top. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then you should definitely consider doing so because there's going to be more techwear based things, more fashion-y stuff coming out every single week. I've got some more interesting, fun stuff coming up. You know I've got those BBS bams in the, in the back there. So that's going to be a review. There's going to be more fun reviews and stuff. So yeah, stick around for that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Um, out.